look, I know, I know, it's been a while. It has been a while, three months since I was on my last camp. A bail camp in between, but look, I've been busy. But we're back out, back in the Lake District, and I've got a new tent to show you. So let's get on up there, and let's have a look. And here we are. Back on the summit of Craigfell. Like I said, uh, one of my favourite, one of my favourite spots. And, um, it's one of my go-to places, to be honest. Especially when trying out new gear. I mean, just look, look at the views. Absolutely awesome. So, the new tent. I've been looking at trekking pole tents. And I was just going to go for the Lanshan, um, the Lanshan 2, 2 basically. And then I came across Hilleberg's version, the Anavis. Bit of a price difference, but you know, when you're just looking at stuff for a while, you're like, should I get this one? Should I get that one? Um, and last time I did that, when I bought the MSR Tyne Team 2, great tent, don't get me wrong, but it's just the weight of it. So I sort of, I was a bit miffed that I didn't get the Hilleberg, um, whichever one it was, I can't remember now. But anyway, this time I've gone for it. So I've got the Hilleberg Anaris, which is a two person trekking pole tent. I think the weight is 1.4, so slightly a little bit more than the um, the land champ, but obviously the the, the the material quality, as always, is second to none. Now, normally, as I'm sure we all do, I would have set this up two or three times in my back garden, and I'd know how to set it up. No, the missus got rid of all the grass. Um, we've now got a resin drive at the front, and we've got artificial grass at the back. So I've never put this up. Um, I only had it out the packet this morning to put the footprint on the back bottom of it because I knew it was going to be a little bit windy. So I've had the footprint on it, I've rolled it back up, and other than that, I've never put it up. So, so this is going to be fun. Um, so I'm going to get the tent set up before I do anything else, and then um, and then I'll bring you back. But this could be a complete disaster. Of that I'm not sure if I've got it quite up perfectly but like I say it's my first go seems pretty stable um, I do say to have it set between 125 and 135 I've got to set that that height at 130 at the minute I might just drop um, might just drop it down to 125 and just close this gap up a bit but you know for now let's have a little look inside double vesti vestibule decent size hey, this looks like the first time i've been inside it plenty of room there I've already noticed one thing that's going to do me head in, but <laughs> I'll save that till till the morning. I'll, I'll after I've used it, and we'll we'll come back to it in the morning. Just see if I found anything that I like and I don't like. Um, I think it's one of them. Once you get used to setting that up, it'll, it'll go up in no time. But it's just, and I just, just something doesn't quite look right, does it? I'm on a bit of a slope, but 
the only sort of flattish area which is where I normally pitch is here but I won't get um, I won't get it down it'll be on top of all these sharp pointy rocks and I'm not not risking that so that's where we are tell you what she's a big old tent when she's set up like that footprint wise it's what a sexy looking tent though tell you what I've done it matching with I love I love the hilly bird green but I'll call it the brown I know there's some some name to it but I love that colour too I think that's the only thing I might just drop it down another five centimetres but look for now we're gonna get the inside set up once the mat's up the sleeping bag's down I'll just show you my kit quickly you've seen most of it I'm still half on my winter kit to be honest with it being a nice clear it's a clear sky tonight um temperatures are giving it could drop into minus two threes or whatever so so i've got my winter bag with me but for now there we are we're back on Crackfell, and a dale views over to pillar tent set up and it's time for a run so as we're all set up at last it's been a long time coming but there we go cheers guys oh shit months a long time cheers guys good old captain's morgan spike spiced cola yeah check this out check this out for a tent view everyone loves a tent view look at that <laughs> you're gonna you have to do well to beat that so I'm just I'm just sat chilling having a beer. There's not going to be too much going on today. I've got my tent up. It was just all about me getting out <laughs> selfishly, getting out, getting my new tent up, and, and just chilling out. But I did want to tell you, we've got we've got a fundraiser going on for the Dudden and Furnace Mountain Rescue Team. Now they're raising money to build themselves a new, well-equipped base. Their, their current base is rented and it's inadequate no dry room no heating now i believe it's it's really just not not good enough for them now they are a smaller team but they are out constantly with the wasdale team um you know and and i don't know if any of you've been watching this lake district mountain rescue program on a sunday but you know they're all volunteers it how it isn't government funded air ambulance and mountain rescue and lifeboat I, I don't know but you know they fully rely on donations so if we can do a bit i think we've got we've got just over two thousand pound raised so far so now we're doing it as a group i've got a facebook group there's qu quite a few members in there and um at the moment we've got a raffle going on now i've had loads of great items donated paramo uh hit me up with one of the top of the range jackets uh, Wild Camping International gave me a, a, a three-piece cook set. Um, oh, there's, there's just so much, so much base camp food. 50 quid voucher. I can't think off the top of my head. Flex tail and inflatable mat. Uh, Sun blesser, two head torches. Um, funky sage just sent me two sh two sets of shades. Uh, I've, I've got all sorts. About 20 prizes in total. So if you did want to donate, there will be a link in the description. I'll put a link that will take you to the Facebook group if you wanted to join that, and also uh, straight to straight to the fundraiser where you can donate. I don't see any of the money; it goes straight to them, uh, and it's five quid a raffle ticket. So you donate a five, you get one. You get your name in the hat once, tenner twice. You know how it works. So um, so yeah, if you want to get yourself involved and help out, then um, hit one of the links. Send me a PM on messenger you, you can find me on insta um leave it leave a comment here with some way of me getting back in touch with you um now to bring the curtain down on the fundraiser which is going to be towards the end of june we're attempting as a group to have somebody camped on each of the 214 wainwright summits now i'll be honest i don't think we're going to do it this year we're up to about 70 now so we're just over a third of the way there the, but we're going to make it a yearly thing so you know but if you wanted to get involved in the camp 
um, again, hit me up, hit the link, join the group, send me a PM, something, and I'll, I'll send you details. The plan is the night of June 22nd, Saturday, June 22nd, and I'm going to arrange for us all to meet up and have a beer, have a quick pint or something for anyone that wants to uh, the, the, the day after. So, um, so yeah, you want to get involved and help out, come and find me and give me a message. Bloody cold in that wind. Tell it's a northerly bloody wind. Fuck me. I'm sat in tent, nice and warm, but just see how it see how it's catching wind. Just wind's getting underneath it, so I made a few adjustments. I've dropped this this right this this peg right down, this corner right down, that corner right down. Um, I've dropped this right down. And that just to try and stop the the wind from getting underneath it, but even so, I mean it's a lot better than what it was, but still catching wind, isn't it? I mean it's sturdy inside, it's not it's not um it's not moving, but it's just not quite right, is it? I've even I've dropped the um oh, I've dropped I've dropped the poles down now to the lowest setting of the one two five so i suppose it's just trial and error but just it just seems as though it's catching the wind a bit too much there's nothing to worry about the winds aren't strong tonight but um i just wonder what what would be the best way around that so i'd, I'd look i'm no expert if somebody knows drop it into comments i'm not I, you know i can take criticism um anyone knows or anyone says look you've done this wrong you fucking knobhead then that's fine but i mean it's sturdy look it's not moving i don't know if it would help the wind the wind's coming from that direction so i don't think it's going to help dropping any of these these any further down i don't i don't know Enough about that, time for another run, let's go. Oh my God, it's so cold, it's that wind. But look, I think we're gonna get a decent sunset over there, especially if these clouds move on. But look at that, it's cool as hell. Last run, oh, last run and then, then it's food time. Now, I have not excelled myself today, but, oh, let me open this, two seconds. Oh, I'm everywhere. I've not excelled myself today on food, but I am proper looking forward to it. So I'm using the X boil for the first time, lightweight. Look, cooking on alcohol is so much better, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I've never really cooked on it before. So I've gone for, you ready? Hot dogs, fried onions, cheese slices in a bun. Boom. Now, compared to when I was last up here, I did um, chicken tikka pitters with feta salad. Amazing. Now, I was going to try and do a bit of a roast dinner. That is my next my next thing. But I wanted to try the X-Boil out. I wanted to see what sort of burn time you got off each one and whether it's easy just to light up again and, and that sort of stuff. So I've gone for something easy. Uh, just heat some hot dogs through. But, come on, you have to admit, you have to admit hot dogs onions and cheese is pretty good especially with views like that so there we go one last run and then i'll get some food on
quick and easy. Bon appetit. That's me, fed, watered, four lumps, and uh, two and a half hot dogs. <laughs> and that's me, I am done. I am gonna just um, zip, zip the tent up and just, just check everything for tightness. I knew it'd be my first time in it. Not really confident in it, but yeah, it's a stain one for about 25 now. So but anyway, we'll see. I'm gonna tighten it all down. I'm gonna get my, my head down, stick, uh, stick some Netflix or YouTube on. So I'll leave you with this time lapse and um, I'm going to bed. So I'll catch you in the morning. Bit of a rough night's sleep um the wind the wind really kicked up and there's some uh, torrential downpour at one point which just none of it was forecasted um i was a bit worried with it being first time in tent and it was catching the wind last night but i mean look, i've not touched it uh, and she, she's she's held up pretty well um she's not even budged so you can just tell everything's just slackened off a bit. But it, it was absolutely battered, absolutely battered last night in that rain, in that rain and wind. Um, one of them, because I've never slept in it before, I kept getting up and just sticking my head out and checking all fucking corners and that. So I'll just take you, take you inside. Oh, so, real good tent. Really, really, really impressed at how well that has stood up last night. Um, it's my one worry about having a trekking pole tent. So a couple of little things that I don't like straight off is the doors open from the top. So I just wanted to stick my head out yesterday, check the pegs, I'm having to undo the door all the way down. Also, you only get one side of the door opening. I'm thinking in summer, if that would open all the way up, you could have that rolled all the way up. Same with the outer and it'd give you um, a better view. And obviously because I've dropped the poles down to the minimum setting for the tent, just to try and stop the wind getting underneath it, this inner ends up in your face. Now, I'm only short on what, five, five, nine. Um, if you were six foot, six foot odd, that'd be doing your head and I could shuffle down out the way and it, and it weren't too bad. But um, other than that, mightily impressed with it i mean really really happy with it it's, it's definitely going to be my summer tent um it is quite breezy with it having a full mesh um in a so yeah it, it was quite cold uh but you know it, it was cold last night it's definitely in its minuses it, it, it was freezing so right i am gonna get the tent down let me just get out of it i am gonna get the tent down uh, it's the last thing, I've got everything packed away, all rubbish packed away, it just needs a tent to drop. Oh, let's not lose that. That's dangerous, Al. Um, so I'll get the tent down, I'll bring you back for the sign off. So it's time for me to get back to work. I've got a job in Whitehaven, a job in Workington, which is just over there. There, I can't think. Over there somewhere. Uh, and then down to Liverpool. So, as always, Leave no trace. Apart from a little imprint in the grass, that is how it should be. But what a camp, what a tent. Seriously impressed with that tent. And I'll be honest, if I knew that wind was coming last night with that rain, I wouldn't have used that. Um, so I'm quite happy I've been out on it now. Because now I know I can trust it. So, right, work time. What a tent though. 
Well, this is probably my favourite tent now. Best looking tent, anyway. I love that colour as well. So, right, anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Over and out.